In this video, let's see how do we organize our project for better overview, for more info and space and according to our needs. Now, first we're going to check out the upper toolbar menu. Now, don't worry about these separate tools. You will learn it, learn it throughout the course. But for now, let's see how do we customize it. If we just do the right click on you know, any of these, we will see what available toolbars do we have here. And by just checking and unchecking it, these will you know, appear and disappear. Now, one useful that I would like you to suggest you to add that you don't have by default is this one here. It's audio performance meter. And to add it, you should just go right click and then go under system performance meter. And if I check it, see it disappears. Let's bring it back. Now, this one allows you to see what's the performance of your CPU uh, so that you at any time know during your project, uh, you know, if you're having too many plugins uh, or, you know, too many channels, it will just show you if your CPU is clipping. So, you know, it's just useful to know where you're at or if you cl hear any click or, you know, pop sounds that you can check out your CPU to see if it's having any troubles with any instruments that you're using or any recordings. Okay, let's close this one. Now, the next thing we can see are these lines, you know, below these tools. And to access this line here, we should go to this setup window layout settings button or, you know, however you want to call it. Let's click on it. And then we have the status line. This is the first line here. We see the recording quality and so on. We can also add the info line and the overview line. Now, if I click on any of these tracks here I have, it will give me some info about it. Where does it start? Where does it end? The length and so on. But I also get this second one here, which is the overview line. And it can be useful because it shows you, you know, if, when you start creating longer projects, <clears throat> uh, you can just quickly see where are you at at your project. And you can, by just holding your left click, and dragging certain area like this, you can select certain area and then you can drag and scroll to your project, uh, you know, another way to scroll through it. Or you can resize it to zoom in or out like that. Also can be useful. I don't use this one so often, but if you find it useful, why not? And a very useful thing in Cubase is also these zone parameters, which are right here. Again, if you don't see it, do the right click and then go under Windows Zone Controls to have it checked. Now, we have the lower left zone, we have the lower zone, and we have the right zone. And now let's just do a quick overview since we will be using these throughout the course. For now, let's just, you know, get some basic overview of it. So we are already familiar with the left zone. We have the Inspector tab. I click on any of these tracks. I can use some, you know, track controls, which we covered in channel settings part. And um, since this is an instrument track, there are slightly different, you know, these tabs than in the audio track. Then we have the visibility tab to turn on or off visibility, like we talked. And the lower zone, by default, provides you a kind of a mini mixer console. Uh, here you can do some basic things like mute or solo track. Let me click uh, this track here, let's say. Um, so I can mute the solo track, open track settings right here. Change the volumes on the volume knobs. And we can also choose on this in this lower left area. We can choose to see only inserts or here only sends, which we'll be covering in detail more. No worries about that for now. And you can also choose different editors here. Uh, and we will cover these in separate master classes. You will be able to use a MIDI editor, audio editor, drum editor. You will know this perfectly. Then we have sampler control where we can work with samples and core pads, which we will also cover in detail as well. And in the right zone, we have we can see the overview of our VST instruments. Uh, this is media tab, which shows something called media bay. 
Again, separate lesson about Media Bay is coming. But some basic overview, we can see some all of our VST instruments here. And we can just by clicking and dragging to our project, we can activate these instruments. Different effects, basically these are all of our effects that we can add to our inserts. Then loop and sample packs that you have and you get with your Cubase. Again, don't worry, all of this goes in detail under Media Bay tab when we talk about start talking about audio editor and audio editing and different presets and so on. Then here is the control room, an advanced feature of Cubase for Cubase Pro uh, and a meter, basically main, you know, loudness meter. We can see the loudness level and also the overall uh, gain of the entire track. Okay, so this would be some general overview of the project organization, different menus. Now let's move on to the next video.